Welcome into Fast Five with Jay Walker and Scott Prather. Let's do it. Okay. One. Steph Curry is the first unanimous MVP in NBA history. Who is the greatest unanimous MVP of any sport? There hadn't been a ton. There's been 17 in Major League Baseball. First in the NBA, one in the NFL, Tom Brady. I'm going with the one in the NHL because it's the great one. You can't go wrong with Wayne Gretzky. Come on, he's the greatest of all time in his sport. I'm going to go with the one that just happened, Steph Curry. Why? Real simple. It never happened with Michael Jordan. Enough said. Two, what kind of impact will All-American catcher Lexi Elkins have on the Raging Cajun softball team when she returns to the diamond this week from her thumb injury? I think the biggest impact that she's going to have is she's just going to give this team a psychological lift. We don't know how Mike's going to use her, whether he's going to catch her or she's going to be a DP or play in the outfield. But just the fact that she's back is going to lift this team a whole bunch. Yeah, psychologically, and it's going to be big. Like Mike tried to, not tried, he said, and to his point, with major league players, they have to go to the minors. It takes a few weeks, but we're talking about the best player in the country. Is she going to come back 100% right out the gate? No. But she's that dang good that that impact's going to be big, no doubt about it. Time for the donkey round. If the Ragin' Cajuns want to catch South Alabama before the start of the Sun Belt Conference Tournament, what do they have to do? Beat them in a three-game series. Sweep the series in Mobile. No, they got to win two out of three, then sweep Monroe, and then have Troy win a couple from South Alabama. <laughs> round two. What is the best story in the MLB so far this season? Bryce Harper, nobody's pitching to him. Eight at bats, eight times reach base, no official at bats. Uh, <laughs> no, wait, no, no, it's seven seconds each. Um. Uh. <laughs> Five. What's the worst superstition in sports? I got two, and they have to do with pee pee. Nice. Okay, Moises Zulu. Yep. He would pee on his hands before he'd play baseball games, and he would say that it was to to toughen his hands to up. harden his hands yeah. but when in reality it actually would soften your hands and beyond that jay he's peeing on his hands yes he was now I i'll be honest i have to cheat i had to write down the name of this other cat mma fighter uh leota machida yep that's his name you know what he does every morning you ever seen dodgeball when Rip Torn says, is it necessary for me to drink my urine? No, but it's sterile and I like the taste. Well, apparently Machida does too. He drinks his own pee every morning. You Cheers. To, oh, God. Five up. You talk about bad superstitions in sports. Keep, get, just, let's keep pee in the toilet, please. Well, th there was also the, 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 the soccer goalie who every time it was a penalty round, just before every penalty kick, he would pee himself. Oh, that's isn't that great? Yeah. Now I'm going to get a whole lot different with with my answer. You're not I mean, going to. Th this man's got a urine fetish. He, I don't oh really. God. I don't really. Yes. You know the craziest oh, yeah. superstition in sports. Excuse me a second. Mainly because it's really really real, is the Sports Illustrated cover jinx. There's 15 times just since January of 2015 it's hit. There's death, taxes, and the cover of SI. If you're on the cover of SI, you're probably in deep trouble. Just don't see yourself. That's it for Fast Five. We'll see you next week. Bye.